morning and welcome to worship this holy Palm Sunday. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. The Holy Gospel according to Mark, the 11th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. When they were approaching Jerusalem at Bethpage and Bethany, near the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and immediately as you enter, you will find, find tied there a colt that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone says to you, why are you doing this? Just say this, the Lord needs it and will send it back here immediately. The disciples went away and found a colt tied near a door outside in the street. As they were untying it, some bystanders said, what are you doing untying the colt? And they told them what Jesus had said, and they allowed them to take it. Then they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their cloaks on it, and he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road. Others spread leafy branches that they had cut in the fields. Then those who went ahead and those who followed were shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our ancestor David. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Then he entered Jerusalem and went into the temple. And when he had looked around at everything, as it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. The gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you, O Christ. Christ. The Lord be with you. And also, also with you. Let us pray. We praise you, O God, for redeeming the world through our Savior, Jesus Christ. Though he entered the holy city in triumph and was proclaimed Messiah and King by those who spread garments and branches along his way, bless these branches and those who carry them. Grant us grace to follow our Lord in the way of the cross, so that, joined in his death and resurrection, we enter life with you through the same Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us enter in peace in the name of Christ. Amen. Amen. We join in singing our processional hymn, All Glory, Laud, and Honor, Hymn 344.
contemplation of the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ and meditate on the salvation of the world through his sufferings, death, burial, and resurrection. Let us pray together. Everlasting, Everlasting God, God, in your endless love for the human race, you sent our Lord Jesus Christ to take on our nature and to suffer death on the cross. In your mercy, enable us to share in his obedience to your will and in the glorious victory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from Isaiah. The Lord God has given me the tongue of a teacher, that I may know how to sustain the weary with a word. Morning by morning he wakens, wakens my ear to listen as those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I did not turn backward. I gave my back to those who struck me, and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I did not hide my face from insult and spitting. The Lord God helps me. Therefore, I have not been disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who are my adversaries? Let them confront me. It is the Lord God who helps me. Who will declare me guilty? Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. The congregation will respond to the bold text, Psalm 31. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. My eye is consumed with sorrow, and also my throat and my belly. For my life is wasted with grief, and my ears with sighing. My strength fails me because of affliction, and then my bones are consumed. I am the scorn of all my enemies, a disgrace to my neighbors, a dismay to my acquaintances. When they see me in the street, they avoid me. Like the dead, I am forgotten, out of mind. I am as useless as a broken pot. For I have heard the whispering of the crowd. Fear is all around. They put their heads together against me. They plot to take my life. But as for me, I have trusted in you, O Lord. I have said, You are my God. My times are in your hand. Rescue me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your steadfast love. Second reading is a reading from Philippians. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness, and being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God.
Holy Gospel according to Mark. The 15th chapter. Glory Glory to to you, O Lord. As soon as it was morning, the chief priests held a consultation with the elders and the scribes and the whole council. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered him, You say so. Then the chief priests accused him of many things. Pilate asked him again, Have you no answer? See how many charges they bring against you. But Jesus made no further reply, so that Pilate was amazed. Now at the festival he used to release a prisoner for them, anyone whom they asked for. Now a man called Barabbas was in prison with the rebels who had committed murder during the insurrection. So the crowd came and began to ask Pilate to do for them according to his custom. Then he answered them, Do you want me to release for you the king of the Jews? For he realized that it was out of jealousy that the chief priests had handed him over. But the chief priests stirred up the crowd to have him release Barabbas for them instead. Pilate spoke to them again. Then what do you wish me to do with this man you call the king of the Jews? They shouted back, Crucify him! Pilate asked, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Crucify him! So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas for them. And after flogging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified. Then the soldiers led him into the courtyard of the palace. That is, the governor's headquarters. And they called together the whole cohort. And they clothed him, Jesus, that is, in a purple cloak. And after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on him. And they began saluting him. Hail, King of the Jews! They struck his head with a reed. They spat upon him. And knelt down in homage to him. After mocking him, they stripped him of the purple cloak and put his own clothes back on him. Then they led him out to crucify him. They, the soldiers, compelled a passerby who was coming in from the country to carry his cross. It was Simon of Cyrene, the father of Alexander and Rufus. They brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, which means the place of a skull. And they offered him wine mixed with myrrh, but he didn't take it. And they crucified him. They divided his clothes among them, casting lots to decide who should, what each should take. It was nine o'clock in morning when they crucified him. The inscription of the charge against him read, The King of the Jews. And with him they crucified two bandits, one on his right, one on his left. Those who passed by derided him, shaking their heads and saying, (laughs) You who would destroy the temple and build it in three days. Save yourself. And come down from the cross. In the same way, the chief priests, along with the scribes, were also mocking him among themselves, saying, 
He saved others. Can he not save himself? Let the Messiah, the King of Israel, come down from the cross now so that we may see and believe. Those who were crucified with him also taunted him. When it was noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. At three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lemma sabachthani. Which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, Listen, he's calling for Elijah. And someone ran. Filled a sponge with sour wine. Shoved it on a stick and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come and take him down. Then Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. Now when the centurion, who stood facing him, saw that in this way he breathed his last, he said, Truly, this man was God's son. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, to you, you, O Christ. Let us confess together the faith of the Church using the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is, seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God, from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, 
was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became truly human. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who, with the Father and the Son, is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Relying on the promises of God, we pray boldly for the church, the world, and all in need. In Jesus, you came among us as a suffering servant. Give your church humility, redeem your people from pride, and the certainty that we always know your will. Heal us and empower us to confess Christ crucified. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy, your mercy is great. In creation, life springs from death. Redeem your creation awaiting resurrection. Restore lost habitats and endangered species. Create new possibilities for areas affected by climate change, especially our polar regions and coastal communities. Grant relief from natural disasters, especially communities still recovering from the winter storms and those impacted by COVID-19. And nurture new growth. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Jesus was handed over to the powers of this world. In all nations, instruct the powerful that they would not exploit their power, but maintain justice. Sustain soldiers and guide those who command them that they serve those in greatest need. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. On the cross, Jesus joined all who feel forsaken. Abide with those who are condemned to death. Defend those who are falsely accused. Console and strengthen those who are mocked and bullied. Accompany all who suffer, especially those listed on our prayer list military prayer list, and those we name aloud now or in the silence of our hearts. Grant respite and renewal. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. You called followers to tend Jesus' body in death. Sustain hospice workers and funeral directors. Bless this congregation's ministries at times of death, those who plan and lead funerals, those who prepare meals, all who offer support in grief. Hear us, O God. You inspired the centurion to confess Jesus as your son. We praise you for the faith you have given to people of all places and times. Give us also such faith to trust the promises of baptism, and especially with Adeline Pletz and Pastor Walter Lentz, to look for the resurrection of the dead. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. We entrust ourselves and all our prayers to you, O faithful God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. 
and also with you. I invite you to share that peace with those around you. Uh, pull out your smart device, send a text, a tweet, a Snapchat, whatever floats your boat. Uh, let those around you near and far know that Christ's peace is with them. We continue with our offering hymn, hymn number 481, Come to the Table. Let us pray. Faithful God, you walk beside us in desert places, and you meet us in our hunger with bread from heaven. Accompany us in this meal, that we may pass over from death to life with Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right to give thanks and praise. praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ, whose suffering and death gave salvation to all. You gather your people around the tree of the cross, transforming death into life. And so with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending God, our living water and merciful guide. Together with rivers and seas, wells and springs, we bless and magnify you. You led your people Israel through the desert and provided them water from the rock. We praise you for Christ, our rock and our water, who joined us in our desert, pouring out his life for the world. And the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, broke it, gave it to his disciples, said, Take and eat. This is my body, given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. Remembering, therefore, his life, death, and resurrection, we await your salvation for all this thirsty world. Pour out your spirit on this holy food and on all the baptized gathered for this feast. Wash away our sin, that we may be revived for our journey by the love of Christ. Through him, all glory and honor is yours, almighty creator, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, both now and forever. 
Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us, using the words that you are most familiar with. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Jesus draws the whole world to himself. Come to this meal, this table where all are welcome and be fed. I invite you now to share communion with those around you. I invite you to take the bread that you have set aside, break it, give thanks, and say to one another, the body of Christ is given for you. Amen. And take the cup the juice, whatever you have set aside for the week, and share it with one another using the words, the blood of Christ shed for you. Amen. And when you are finished, let us join together in our communion hymn 164 at the front of your ELW, Lamb of God. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God, a steadfast love, at this table you gather your people into one body for the sake of the world. Send us in the power of your spirit that our lives bear witness to the love that has made us new in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Siblings in Christ, we have a few announcements. First is Egg My House. Our Emmanuel's Lutheran Youth Organization, our high school youth group, 
is fundraising for the ELCA National Youth Gathering next summer in Minneapolis. And we are selling pre-filled Easter eggs. If you would like to buy some pre-filled Easter eggs because you're too busy and you don't want to have to think about it, or you're having a community egg hunt, whatever, have we got the eggs for you. Pick up the order form in our weekly e-news or contact me. We're extending our deadline to Wednesday the 31st. Yes, the 31st. And uh, if all the proceeds will go to helping our uh, youth get to Minneapolis for the youth gathering. A reminder of our Holy Week times, Maundy Thursday and Good Friday services will both be here in church at 6.30 p.m. And a reminder that the church office will be closed Easter Monday because we're gonna have a busy day. We'll have worship with communion at 10.30. We'll have breakfast beforehand and then an egg hunt afterwards. We're gonna be tired, y'all. So we're gonna close the office on Monday. And our last announcement is more personal, but I wanted to let you know as my faith community, it is a joy for our family to announce that we are expecting, um, as Harry Potter fans, we have managed our mischief and our mischief is set to arrive in September of this year. So thank you for, whether you kind of want to or not, for coming along this journey with me, uh, for being a part of this change for my family. With that, we continue with our blessing. Receive the blessing. You are what God made you to be, created in Christ Jesus for good works, chosen as holy and beloved, freed to serve our neighbor. God bless you, that you may be a blessing in the name of the Holy Trinity, the life-giving Trinity. Amen. Let us join our voices together in our sending and recessional hymn, hymn 347, Go to Dark Gethsemane.
Go in peace. Share the good news. Thanks be to God.